pen and paper and write this thing. How many of you believe in the prophet? And how many of you believe in our prophecies? Uh, we are not the pastors who do say these things to make me. Is that okay? So today I will tell you again something and mention the name of some people. And I want you to write it down. I'm not praying that it happen. <laughs> but as God is my witness, in this land there, we will know who God called and who God sent a text message. Praise the Lord. So, number one, I'll give you ten prophecies. Number one, goodness and mercy will follow us 2020. Amen. Unprecedented breakthrough for paradise, Richard. Hallelujah. Number two, the world's economy. Oh, Mare Atana Mata Anka Eleboseta. What I said to Chairman, there is likely going to be a war between the United States of America and Iran. We begin tonight with the U.S. and Iran on the brink, and the president alerting Congress tonight the U.S. will respond with force if Iran retaliates for the drone strike that killed top Iranian commander Qasem Soleimani. The casket carrying Soleimani's remains arriving in Tehran moments ago after snaking through a sea of mourners in other parts of the country. Today, hundreds of thousands of Iranians were in the streets. In Iran's parliament, chants of death to America, Tehran vowing swift revenge on American soil and announcing they will no longer abide by the uranium enrichment limits in the 2015 nuclear deal, a move which could put Iran on course to accumulate enough fuel for an atomic bomb. And President Trump with a sharp response, tweeting a notification to Congress that the U.S. will strike back if Iran attacks any U.S. person or target, citing 52 possible targets identified in Iran. In the spirit, the Lord opened my eyes and I saw there is going to be a more terrible, uh, I mean, a more strong greens in the country this year. But the rains will not be as serious as I see fire burns. <laughs> And they don't even say, What are you
Ada se Accra Academy e no e be e kanishi e no e wo enkrahabe e numre no sono e na oche se ijaka se e to e yusukudu mwa e ne na e nye adikuma dometris bebi e na e jano e kwa e kotoye. At any moment from now, I say prevent you from going closer to the uh, building. Uh, so, what I said, 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 I ya modi senso edidu e na mano antimi antini anko eche nti e be bo mo abaso ya bo national fire service so abaso se omutimi edu ha ni mmra no etumi e ma edum ja no e ma ye be o mo ye be shogun kan se bi disa na eh eh em se ye taco schools eni o mo kodi hun komo ye mani nka ho ye be san eni o mo abedi komo a chiro mo kwa se eni ma ni sia o metimi sia no kwa ansa se eh eh fire eni nadmo fo bebe mo ya bebe mo na ya bedi hu 41 students in the main room so far. So that is what we need. We are still taking uh, inventory of uh, the number of students who were affected and then the items they lost so that we can pick it up from there. We know what help to give them. There was no casualty. All the students were prepared. Yes. So the dormitories uh, were locked. But I must commend the students because uh, when they came in, they saw the smoke and they came in. Uh, no, they were in a rush to salvage their things. They use buckets of water to actually fight the fire until the uh, the fire service came. In. You know, I did not mean that. I think it would have been worse. Yeah. So majority of them were able to bring out their things, like you can see the things outside. Yes. So for now, we are waiting for fire service to give us a report. Yes, and we are putting together a report for the. Transportation. Because spiritually, live cows and animals have been buried on our furrows and on our circles. I heard in my spirit for political power gains. Because of this, where they bury those things, a very long spirit I see that said cannot be seen. Or you know to say, but oh, what do you do? You tell me who? 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 through road accidents, flights, air, like, in fact, we're told, we're talking, we'll call it what, plane crash. We begin with the breaking news of a, a Ukrainian passenger jet plane has crashed shortly after takeoff from Tehran, killing at least 170 passengers and crew. Rescue workers say there were no survivors. The Ukraine International Airlines Boeing 737 was banned for Kiev. Iranian media reports say the aircraft came down due to technical problems. One official said it had been on fire. Well, our news reporter Gareth Barlow is with me. Gareth, what more can you tell us? Like you say, this Boeing 737-800 had only just left the airport in Iran, destined for Ukraine, crashed very shortly after takeoff. Satellite tracking suggests that it, it crashed somewhere in hilly, rugged terrain, and footage from the scene shows widespread debris, uh, the emergency services retrieving bodies with body bags, the Red Crescent, the Reuters news agency also uh, reporting the Iranian state media saying that there are no survivors. At least 170 people have died in this incident. The figures are slightly variable, but we know at least 170 have died. And emergency services being quoted saying the fire was so heavy they couldn't do anything to perform a rescue. They had ambulances and helicopters, but unable to help. Come and see a 
Some people, finally I want to talk about, some people want to bring Ebola again. But this time, it's more or less a waterborne disease. And an airborne, because I saw people putting, you call that one what? And the max on their nose. <laughs> Chinese officials are advising 11 million people at the centre of an outbreak of a new virus to stay where they are for the Lunar New Year holiday to avoid spreading it. People in Wuhan have been asked not to leave the city and outsiders have been told to stay away. More than 400 people had been infected with the coronavirus and nine people have died. Wuhan now has health checks in places at uh, airports, railway stations and on roads out of the city. Public gatherings as well have also been restricted. The new virus has spread from Wuhan to several Chinese provinces, as well as the US, Thailand, South Korea, Japan, Taiwan and we now have Hong Kong confirming its first case. International restrictions are being put in place at many airports. A short time ago, the British government said it was introducing a separate area at Heathrow Airport for people travelling from affected areas. Our correspondent Stephen McDonnell has more for us from Beijing. The Lunar New Year in China means that there are millions of people on the move. They're crisscrossing this country and also travelling abroad. And I can tell you, attitudes here over the last 48 hours towards this virus have completely changed. Two days ago, speaking to travellers, we could barely find somebody who was all that worried about the situation. Now you have people here queuing up to buy face masks, they're cancelling their trips. In some cases they've had the trips cancelled for them. For example, China's neighbour North Korea has cancelled all tour groups coming in for the Lunar New Year. Scientists are recommending that nobody travels to Wuhan. This, this is the city where this outbreak started and they're also saying people shouldn't leave that city. That's a city of 11 million people and they're suggesting during the spring festival, the most important festival in this country, that people shouldn't be coming and going from there. Really though, you can understand why people are worried. We had officials, they held a press conference today warning that this virus could mutate and if it mutated it could be even more contagious. So if you compare travel patterns in 2002 when the SARS outbreak happened and 600 people, more than 600 people died, compare that to now and you can kind of understand why all this travel is worrying people. So in 2002 for SARS, comparing that to now, just in the province where this outbreak started, there are now twice as many people travelling by train in that province. In terms of passengers flying out of China, there are six times as many people now flying out of China as there were in 2002. And so this is why the authorities are now desperate to try and get this situation under control before this potentially deadly coronavirus, which causes pneumonia, spreads to many more cities and many more countries. And it's why the World Health Organization is meeting to discuss this situation. They're taking it very seriously. Steve McDonald there. A new virus is spreading in China. We've got the language you need to talk about this story. I'm Georgina. I'm Catherine, and this is News Review. Let's hear more about this from BBC Radio 1 News. A fourth person has died in China from a new virus that has spread rapidly across the country. The 89-year-old man is the latest victim of the illness that causes a type of pneumonia. Authorities have now confirmed it can be spread personally.